hello everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel so today i'll be showing you how to draft a sleeveless top with a basic neckline you know i've shown you how to draft a posterior and other ones that doesn't have a shoulder so today i'm going to show you how to draft a top with a shoulder with a basic neckline so Please, before I continue, if you're new to my channel, please, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel. It's a way of encouraging me to do more. Thank you. Okay, let's get started. So, first of all, what you do here is you decide on how wide you want your neckline or how how deep you want your neckline to be. So, here, I don't want my neckline to be too wide. I just want it to be like really simple really really basic so here now i'm going from from here this tip of my this tip of my my neckline i i went in by half of an inch half of an inch i'm using a half scale pattern if it was um full scale like your normal body measurement pattern you use one inch so where i'm using half inch you use one inch so then I went down here by half of an inch for half scale, but for a full scale, you go in by one inch and then you draw your neckline. So as you can see, I've drawn my neckline already. This is my new neckline here and this is the previous neckline. So what I'll do next is, is this. I'm going to, now that I've decided my neckline, so uh, that will that will like let me that will make me know the the amount of tightening to do. Like now my neckline is not that deep, it's not very deep, it's it's just basic, so I don't need to tighten it much. So I'm just going to do like um 20% tightening. So you do the math, like here my dad value is um is six 6.5 for my for my boss me measurement so you do what you do is 20 percent of of 6.5 from you but if your own your own could be more your own could be more your own could be i, th I think 6.5 is the smallest yours could be more so whatever you have as your dad value uh, you do 20 percent for this neckline here so sorry i don't have my calculator here but i'm just going to do a guesswork so i'll just assume that my 20 percent of 6.5 is i'm just going to guess i'm going to guess that this 20 percent is just two centimeters i'm guessing so here now what i'll do is that my two centimeters from this that leg here i'm just going to measure my two centimeters here and i will connect i will connect back to the okay so here now is my my new dot value so with this now the the top i'm making is going to hold me better i'm going to sit better on my body so so you see this value that i added to this my dot my dad is two percent what you do now is you're going to extend this shoulder your shoulder length you're going to extend it this is something that no one else has, has told you i i guess so because i know a lot of people don't know this you know if you don't do this when you finish sewing you'll notice that the front is wider than the back and it's going to give you a kind of a gaping at your back the back of your outfit so this value now that you added to this that is two centimeters you add it back to this this shoulder you have to add it back to the shoulder and then you look for a way to like connect it back because this is now your new shoulder you have to look for a way to like you know for you to like connect this value back to your shoulder you have to blend it so your shoulder is no longer here rather it's here now so by the time you do this now 
your your garment is going to sit where you love the the outfits the the out uh, what the the result of of what I just did now. So what we'll do now is we are going to close close off this dart and blend the shoulder. So I'll just show you how to do that now. So I'm closing this dart now. I'm closing this dart, so it is not going to like close up unless I slash. I slash it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm not ready to slash down on yet. So now I'm going to decide if I want to do a bust here or I'm going just going to sew up a dart or you know however I want it. So what I will do now is I'm going to transfer this this value here to the side. So I'm going to sew like a side dart. Uh, I think they call it uh, what's the name of that dart? The dart that comes from the side. So now I'm going to take down six centimeter from the shoulder. This six centimeter is for a normal, a normal, uh, normal scale, normal your, like your normal measurement. But my half scale, I'm going to come down by three centimeters because whatever I do. On a normal pattern on a half scale you do half of it so here and I came down by three but yours will be six so what I will do now is I am I am transferring these dots to the side but I want to sew it at the side so I am transferring this dot to the side so now I will slash. You shall let me divide this that this uh, pattern. Okay. Let me see that. Okay. So now I'm just working on the front pattern. I am slashing. You slash to that uh, point D. This is point D here which is one inch above your boss your true boss point your true boss is where your nipple point is on your on your bust so point d is one inch above above your true bust line true boss line tbl then your true boss line is the point x that i always refer uh i always refer to so this is your point x here point x here point d okay so you slash it to that point d and this will help me now to close this dart so i uh, you can see that my dart will close very easily now because i have slashed i have slashed the side of it okay Okay, so I'm going to close up this dart. I'm just going to, I'm just using all my old tape. So I'm going to close this up, as you can see. So I have closed the shoulder dart and I transferred it to the side here. So what I'll do now, I'll blend back my shoulder line. I'm blending it back like this. Okay. I am blending this shoulder. So like this is my my new shoulder line. So now I've successfully transferred this shoulder this shoulder that now to the side. So what I will do now is I will get a piece of paper. I'll get a piece of paper. Okay, you see what I'll do with this paper now. Okay, so let me get my gum. So I'm going to put this piece of paper here to 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 be able to like redraw my my dart. So I'm going to put this here. 
so okay so this dart now we don't we don't sew our dart to the to the to the tip we don't sew it to the tip like it doesn't look good i'll show you what to do so from this tip now you're going to measure you're going to measure one and a half inches from this tip here you can do one inch you can do one and a half inch but i think i prefer one and a half inches for your full scale but on my half scale i'm going to do half of one and a half which is three quarter it's three quarter so here now i'm just going to locate a point kind of midway between these two that leg and here then what i'll do now is i'm going to connect it back to the original that leg all right i'm connecting it back to the original that leg like this let me use the marker so that you see clearly so from here now i'm going to connect it back to the original that leg from here, I'm connecting it back to the original that leg, like this. So I, okay, see what I've done? Now I'm not going to, see what I just did now? Now I'm not going to leave this pattern like this. If I leave this pattern like this, and I sew this that leg and this that leg might not match up. They might not match up again. So what I will do now is I'm going to look for a way to I'm going to take this dart leg here and uh, kind of place it on the other dart leg here. See what I did? Like this, you place it on the other, you match it up with the other dart leg. And then you take your wheel, your tracing wheel, like this. Okay? And trace on it like this okay so when you do that you open it up then you see this line here you see this new um line here then you use your ruler like this like what i'm doing now and you try to and you try to blend it and you try to blend it like this Okay, I know you will not see it because it's not visible enough. So I'm going to use my marker and blend it. Okay, from here. All right, so I'm just going to leave it like this so that you see it clearly before I will continue. So now, when you're sewing, you sew to this point, no longer this point D. So now I have successfully transferred this shoulder that to the side that and this pattern here I'm going to say something here You know like I told you earlier I'm showing you a sleeveless pattern Like this now you can still add your sleeve if you want to But normally if you observe sleeveless tops don't start from the shoulder tip They don't start from the shoulder tip um, They always start somewhere around half of an inch, one inch inside from the shoulder tip so now it's now left for you like what i did here i will show you like a normal shoulder so this one now you can add your sleeve to it but if you want to sleeve less you can decide to go in by half of an inch one inch this depending on what you want so you measure half of an inch from this um this edge here half of an inch or one inch i think i prefer one inch too, from this from here from this new armhole line here this line here you measure half of an inch inside or one inch depending on what you want i think i prefer one inch but here now you see me uh measuring half inch because it's a half scale pattern half inch okay so you take your armhole curve again or your french curve and you try to blend in to your initial initial armhole you blend it look for a place that you know that is suitable and you blend it in you try to blend it in all right 
so for your armhole this is your new armhole curl this one here is your new armhole curl so here now you can you're going to sew to that you're going to sew this that here you're going to sew this that here like the options are endless you can you can equally transfer this that to other places in my other videos i'm going to show you how to manipulate your dart like moving your dart from one point to the other so on in this particular tutorial i'm showing you how to move i've shown you how to move this shoulder dart to the side here so you're going to sew this dart here the side one and you're going to sew the waist dart here so making it so that i've already done the neckline so i'm going to move over to the the back pattern i th i think i'm true with the front there is nothing else to do here so i'll just keep this front one aside and move over to the back pattern I'll move over to the back pattern so on this back pattern here there is a dart here which i forgot to draw there is this um, shoulder blade dart here that i forgot to draw which is this this is my shoulder blade that okay so what i'll do now is first of all i'm going to eliminate this dart here i'm going to eliminate it meaning i'm going to remove that dart there are a lot of ways to remove this dart which i'm going to i'm going to teach you during our dart manipulation dart manipulation class but for this i'm just going to use this method so whatever value you have for this you can use your tape and you measure it this is one and a half inch so you come to the tip of your shoulder here and you measure in one and a half inch okay sorry about that break in transmission so i was on the back pattern when the when i paused the video so here now i'm um, i was saying that this back now we're going to eliminate this this that here and to eliminate this you you measure the value you have here i've measured mine mine is 1.5 so from the tip of this um shoulder here you measure your 1.5 inch inward and you take your curve and you blend it back to the original that here so i'm going to blend now i'm just going to look for a point where the two point the two the new that can blend in the new uh what they call the new line can blend in so this is now my this is now my new armhole line and this is the one that i don't want again the previous one so here is my my new armhole line so i've successfully eliminated this that so what i will do now I'll bring back the, the the front pattern and i'll measure the shoulder value here from the new neckline i'll measure it to the to the to the arm um end of the shoulder i measure whatever value i have here i have measured it and what i have here is 3.5 be my half scale pattern yours should be more so from here now i'll measure my 3.5 inches here 3.5 inches so from this point now i'm going to take in my new neckline for the back so um i'm going to do a very deep neckline i'm doing this because i want to show you how to tighten a wide neckline so my neckline is very very deep it's just going to be like uh, three inches or two inches above my bust line two inches above my bust line one two so when I say boss line, boss line is like the armhole line too. So I'm doing a very deep neckline here. So from here, I'm doing a V neck. No, let me do a U neckline. So from here, I'll just connect like this. So I'm just going to connect. So this is my new 
neckline so when you have this kind of neckline you have to tighten it otherwise it's going to gap like so one can see through 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 your clothes at the back when it's not tightened so what i'll do now is i'm just going to take a dart from from the side of my um block to the neckline and i'm going to take out quarter of an inch of inch on the side it on the both side you can do one uh, uh 1.5 inch and uh, 1.5 cm total or you do a total of half of an inch so i'm doing since i'm using inch i'm going to do quarter quarter on the both side quarter quarter on the both side like this is normal one not for half scale like this is normal measurement here so i'm just going to connect it back to this point here okay all right so that's how to tighten that neckline so otherwise no other thing i think we are done with the the, the back pattern so i'm going to close up this dart and cut and show you how everything will look like so i'm just going to cut here first okay so let me close up this dart here let me close up this dart okay now there's a need for me to close this dart here and re-blend so that when I'm sewing that neckline it's I re-blend so that I can redraw the neckline okay so I um so I'll just get uh, a tape a paper tape and I close up and I'll close this up and redraw the neckline Okay. As you can see, the neckline is not uh, is not like the way I drew. It. It's no longer aligning, so I have to look for a way to like uh, reblend to blend it. You know, I have to like look for a way to blend this neckline. So, see, I have to look for a way to blend it back. You know, I've done that now. I even use my hand. So you can use your hand or use a curl. So whichever one is okay for you it's fine so i'll continue with the cutting of mine i'll continue like this okay so i will just cut and So here now i didn't say anything about this waistline um if you're going to do it like a straight gown without joining at the waist you use this first um this first waistline but if there's going to be a joining at the waist like you adding the sketch to it then you're going to use this second this slanted uh, waistline this one is if you're sewing like a gown that doesn't have joining at the waist you use this straight um waistline so in my next video i'm going to try and explain that better so here i'll just assume i'm using this straight uh waistline so i'm not using the slanted waistline i just assume that what i'm sewing has no waistline so this is the back bodies here yeah? this is the back bodies let me write on it back this is the back of it so let me cut the front here now. Okay, this is the front. Okay.
So we are using the straight um, waist now. We are assuming that there won't be any any joining at the waist. So here we have the front and the back. So by the time you sew this, um, your shoulder, your side, and um, that here, the two sides is going to like align, going to be equal again. So I have other other tips I'm going to give you in my next video. Like today, I showed you a little trick on the shoulder part, which nobody else has ever told you. So next time, I'm going to tell you another one again. So till I come your way. Bye bye today please subscribe to my channel if you have not and feel free to share my video thanks for watching bye bye